teachers do a very noble work of t teaching, training our children. And um, manpower development is one of the key pillars of uh, the Vision 2030. That uh, we cannot develop as a nation if we do not invest in manpower development. And that starts at the down there, from the nursery through primary, secondary, to colleges and universities. So countries that have developed faster are those countries that have invested very heavily in manpower development, in training, training from down there. And the teaching profession is that foundation. But this new constitution gives us a good opportunity you know, to mobilize our resources properly. Hmm? First, we can be able to tap the power of the youth. Huh? Secondly, gender. See, this enables us to mobilize our gender, our particular women folk, hmm? to mainstream them in management and running of the country, which, which is very crucial. This constitution can only be properly implemented if you have the people who believe in it at the top. But we can do much more. We expand the roads throughout the country and uh, also bring elect electricity. Rural electrification is a major infrastructure. Because if you bring electricity to the village, to schools, it's first for schools for learning. Because you never want to do the e-learning. But in markets, centers, it triggers off economic activities which provides employment and helps to alleviate poverty in our country. Kwa vile wakati tulikuwa kwa mgomo, walijaribu kwa vivyote vile wakaangalia masilai ya walimu. Na tulifulai kwa vile walitufanya, kwa vile sasa walimu wetu, wote watakuwa embroined on the contract, na tena kumuuliza on watakuwa embroined on permanent terms. Na hiyo ingine kumuuliza, kama vile walikubaliana na serikali in January wa anjiri 5,000 people tulikuwa tunamuliza wawe very sincere hili tuwe tumeanjiriwa hao walimu wetu tumeamua kama walimu yule atakuwa rafiki ya mwalimu yule atangalia mwalimu vizuri hata sisi walimu ndio utakuwa pamoja naye sambamba kwa hivyo we are promising the support of those who are supporting our teachers i think we are happy because the pm is in support of our teachers. When we had teachers strike, the person who intervened first was the Prime Minister. And I think he's the one who gave out the way so that the teachers uh, cannot be uh, harassed. The other time when we had a strike, we were harassed with a lot of tiangas, but this time we did a peaceful demonstration because of the new constitution, which we know that our Prime Minister embraced it. And that is why we are able to enjoy demonstrations without uh, the harassment of the police. But today, we have welcomed him to a Navy, and we are ready to support him, to give him a lot of support, so that he can emerge the winner as a presidential, as the President of the Republic of Kenya, come 2012.